Welcome to this next installment of Ask the Expert for More Visibility. I'm Christine Nazaro, Vice President of Brand Strategy, and I have another very insightful question this time. So the question is, given the level of detail available in Google Search Console, do you have any tips of what data to focus on? So that's a really good question because there are a lot of different reports that are available in Google Search Console. Search Console is the tool that used to be called Webmaster Tools or Google Webmaster Tools and they've now rebranded it. And there's all kinds of information in there. Some that is really good for true webmasters or technical folks. Some that is more useful maybe for general online marketers or, or people who are responsible for the content of their websites. So not sure from this question what your role is, but I have a few different reports that if you're going to log in, I think are the top places that I would suggest to look first and foremost. So the number one spot I would look at is the messages report first. Now this is on the left hand side toward the top, and if you do have any messages, they'll actually be a little parenthetical that will say the number of messages available to you. And I want you to check that, although all of the message may or may not be actionable, so it's not necessarily that there's anything you have to do with the messages in there, but check them and see if there are any alerts or notifications that you should be aware of. Um, for example, if somebody has now tried to link up to your Search Console account from a different YouTube account or from a different Google login, you'll be notified in there. Now that might be fine because that might be a colleague of yours or one of your corporate accounts, or it may be something you need to be aware of. It may be an alert. So check the messages tool and report. After that, I want you to scroll over to the Google Index section of reports. And within there, there's a particular one that's called Index Status. This is a great just basic diagnostic just to check out and see how is your website doing in Google. So nothing actionable in here per se, but when you actually look at this report, it's going to give you a sense of how many pages is Google indexing from your site. And there's a nice trending graph there over a few weeks to a few months time period that will allow you to see if there's any anomalies or changes, sudden drops, sudden spikes. And you want to just look at that in the context of the work that you've been doing doing your site, pages you've been adding, pages you've been changing or removing. Does everything look normal? Um, and normal for you is going to be different than normal for somebody else. So if you know you have about 20 pages and suddenly there's a huge spike and Google is indexing 100 and something pages, that would be abnormal for you. Whereas another website that has thousands of pages, if, it, if Google is indexing only 100, that's abnormal for them, but for a completely different reason. So check out that report, see what you see in there relative to your pages and your website, and go from there. The next one is, again, on the left-hand side under search traffic, and the name of this report is search analytics. So this is all the information you don't get in Google Analytics the same way anymore in the regular reports in there about the traffic to your site. This is keyword specific data which is now not provided in Google Analytics. Now of course, if you have Google Analytics and Search Console synced together, you can so see some of this Search Analytics information in Google Analytics, but I like looking at it directly in Search Console. So when you're in there, you can see things like what keywords are you ranking for, what position are they in, how many impressions, how many clicks, what the click-through rate is, all for your organic keywords. So this is like a sister report to anything that you would see in terms of AdWords keyword reports. And it's really, really useful to understand how are you doing organically? Um, and this is an actionable report because maybe there are keywords that you're doing better or worse on. Maybe you want to make some changes to your keyword targeting, your content strategy based on the results in that report. Finally, last report that I want to make sure that you're all at least aware of and thinking about is under the search appearance section within the uh, Google Search Console navigation, and it's called HTML improvements. Again, another very actionable report. Within there, you can get information and data on missing or duplicated, too long, too short, description tags, title tags that are on your actual live pages that Google is crawling and indexing. So 
I use this maybe once every six months or so just to see for the websites that I'm managing, where are there any issues with metadata that just hasn't been properly accounted for and input, or where is there duplicated metadata? So it's a quick win, easy cleanup type of report. And if you're looking in there periodically and you're always seeing zeros, you know, there are no HTML improvement issues, fabulous. But if you have multiple people contributing to your website, it's a good place to test over time to make sure that everything is being added properly when it comes to description tags and title tags. So those are just four reports in Google Search Console that I think are a great place to focus on. Certainly there's a lot more data in there, so no harm in jumping in there, clicking on different reports, testing different things to find out what you want to know about your website. But keep in mind that all of that rich data that is in Search Console is only as good as your knowledge of what it means and your ability to apply changes to your strategy or to your site. So I would definitely recommend consulting with an SEO specialist like somebody from our SEO team if you're not sure what the information in there means or you're not sure what to do with it in terms of improving your organic presence. So again, this is Christy Nazaro. Thank you so much for submitting questions to Ask the Expert. We're looking forward to more questions and if you have one, please email info at morevisibility.com and we'll be happy to answer it in a future video Ask the Expert. Take care. Have a great day.